Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Műsoraink sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük, tekintse meg itt. suprememastertv.com per schedule. Because it's not that person who does give the initiation, it's just the verbal instruction. Ah, uh, yes. And the master power is the one that is in charge. Ah, uh, master power is behind it, yes. It's not the method, okay? It is the master power infused in it. Please keep watching to find out more. When I look into the eyes of an animal, I do not see an animal. I see a living being. I see a friend. I feel a soul. Anthony Douglas Williams, Vegetarian. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Bonjour means hello in French, the official language of New Caledonia. My name is Carla. The charming New Caledonians appreciate you following your heart and being true to yourselves by living morally and choosing plant-based lifestyles. New Caledonia is an island oasis situated in the heart of the southwestern Pacific Ocean, about 750 miles east of Australia. It's an archipelago of islands with pristine beaches and waters that sparkle in the bright sun. It is one of the collectivities of France, New Caledonia, represents a fascinating blend of both French and indigenous Kanak influences. As the original Melanesian inhabitants on New Caledonia, the Kanak have contributed many arts and crafts, such as intricate wood carvings and spiritually symbolic sculptures. Traditional Kanak customs also celebrate closeness and support within communities or clans. The Jean-Marie Jibaou Cultural Center, built to honor the Kanak people, is a spacious building with rounded pavilions that are patterned after the traditional Kanak Grand Hut. New Caledonia has dazzling lagoons and the longest continuous barrier reef in the world. Many of the island's unique plants arose from species that existed millions of years ago. Several people from the animal kingdom are found only on the islands as well. The New Caledonian crow people, found only in the island country, is incredibly smart and can actually construct tools to solve problems. The ornate flying fox people is another unique species. It is actually a mega bat person with very soft fur that feeds primarily on fruit. 
we were privileged to present cultural New Caledonia to you, devotional viewers. May your lives be blessed with the joy of heaven. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated Master and Philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated Master and Philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal people friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations, while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In a recent phone call on Saturday, October 20th, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful phone call entitled Initiation Requires Master Power, Part 1 of 14, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on October 20th, 2021. Have you ever dreamed of a place far away from it all? Where the air you breathe is soft and clean, children play with the queen. Hi guys. Hello, Hi. Master. Hi, Master. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're doing very well. Uh, thank God. Thank God that in this type of situation, you're doing well. Many people cannot say that nowadays. Oh, yes. Yes, Master. Because we have so much trouble, so much disharmony, so much uh, disaster around the world. Yes, so much suffering. Yeah, just recently, South Sudan. I also sent some humble contribution to the flood victims. And they even found another variant. They are kind of panicking. It could be 10% more infectious than Delta even. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. That's what I said. My God. I told you before, we'll be chasing viruses forever. Yes. If we don't uh, turn around, if we go in the turbulent direction, stony direction, thorny direction, then we will beget all these thorns, disasters, or an even road, stony one. Just you turn. How difficult can that be? My God, even children six years old can do it. And older people under 60 something still can do it. Six to 60 can do it, so why not everybody? Yes. <laughs> and we will avoid all this almost immediately. It depends on the people, but even the worst situation is still a few weeks. Then our earth will calm down. Oh, wow, so fast. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, you know I'm not. Yes, Master, we know. This is a serious thing. Is there anything new with you? Did you do what I told you about the machine yesterday? Yeah? Oh, yes, yes, we turned them all off. Okay, good, good. 
I think the, the girls did also. It's good for now. Also winter, and just take care of yourself, okay? Yes, master. Yeah, just wear protective gear or something. <laughs> Spiritually, you have protective invisible gear, and so physically, you must have also some protective gear, okay? <laughs> yes, master. Thank you very much, master, for protecting us. I work. It's all right. I feel it's my responsibility to take care of whomever. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Thank you very much. Working with us, with me. Yeah. Any questions? I mean, normally. Uh, yes, Master. We have a question from the team. Yeah, just us. For the Kuan Yin method, sometimes Master would select a certain resident and not other residents to do the initiation process. Yes. Um, why would that be so? Uh-huh. Why? Because some are a little bit higher than the others, and it's easier, okay? Ah, yes. Easier to to connect, easy to transmit the load of energy. Ah, I understand. Yeah, if it's uh, too low, he might get into trouble. Oh. A sudden influx of energy, even good things you cannot eat too much. Oh, yes. Yeah, even vitamins, you cannot take the whole box, no? Uh, very yes, true. that's right. That's what it is. Some monks and nuns are not ready, yes. I oh. understand. Principally, uh, can do, which is it's easier with somebody a little bit more elevated. Yes, I understand, yes, Master. Master. Mm. Master, with the Kuan Yin method, uh, can anybody give the initiation instructions to others? Principally, yes, because it's not that person who does give the initiation, it's just the verbal instruction. Ah, uh, yes. And the uh, master power is the one that is in charge. Uh, master power is behind it, yes. It's not the method, okay? <laughs> it is the master power infused in it. It's not just a verbal instruction. Verbal instruction just tells you to sit and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe close your eyes or something. Yes, master. Don't make noise or maybe don't move. But that is not the, the real thing, yeah? It's right. not the main point. The main point is the master yes. instruction. A master uh, power. Yes. And master doesn't have to be there. Okay, but there must be a, an, a physical presence. Yes, master. Just to help them to sit straight or something like that. Yeah. Right. Yes. Make sure they uh, sit in a better position, something like that. That's all. And uh, the power is from the master. Yes. Yes, yes master. Yes. Understand. Yes. You remember one time Milarepa? He had been working very hard for his master, and his master never gave him the initiation. Oh. And just make him work a lot and beat him up and scolding him all the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. And he endured all that because he knows he has heavy karma. Yes. yes Before master. he came to the master, he knew. That's why he came to him and was so desperate for cleaning his karma and getting liberation. But the master did all that out of compassion because his karma in this world was too heavy, so he has to use, you know, this kind of handling. Yes. Right. And scolding him and beating him up and all that and make him do a lot, a lot of hard labor work, like build a house, uh, build a hut, and then demolish it. He's the one who told him to build over there, but then he said, no, not that place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remove it, bring it to the other place. Yes. Redo it again and again and again. Yes. Wow. And it's not like an easy flat road. He's climbing uphill, and you know? he makes it as difficult as possible for the poor Milaruba. Yes, yes, master. And concerning the scolding, it's not just scolding that cleans the karma. It's the master who did that. Yes, with the power behind it. There's another story about uh, one person who did bad things, and he knew it. And he asked somebody, "How can he clean his sins?" Yes. Mm -hmm. So that wise the person say, I cannot do it, but if you go to the master over there, so-and-so master, and you do something to make him scold you, then you will be cleansed of your karma. Oh. oh. Yeah. And he tried all that, but <laughs> 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 somehow that master didn't scold him. Tried to provoke the master, you know? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing. Some people don't understand the way the master is doing. Right. Only maybe Indian people. Or, uh, you know, uh, spiritually educated people understand the different ways the Master treats different people. Yes, Master. Or the Master answers the same question, but to different people, the Master will give different answers even. Yes, right. yes. understand. Or sometimes the Master pretends to be angry or something like that, then uh, you leave. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. 
the ancient master uh, hard nut to crack. <laughs> yeah, they're more clever. Yeah, why not? You know, just my own business. Maybe there are some really sincere and pure disciples. Then you take. Yes. Why take on the karma of anybody or any dog person and cat person, you know, yes. that comes to you and pretends to be sincere and all that. And then they go out, they might slander you. Oh, yeah. Yes, Master. That's true. Because their karma is too heavy. Yes, too low level. But I have many. <laughs> oh. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. I could have died even. Oh, my yeah. gosh. By the hands of the disciples. I mean, physically. Okay. Oh, yes. Physically, almost already there, almost died. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Lucky it was in the ashram and the hufa broke the door, came in and uh, rescued me. Yes. Okay, never mind. We don't talk about that. So we go back to Milareba. Yes, Master. Why did I choose some and not some? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Milareba uh, was very, very frustrated, tired and painful and feeling like the master is not good to him. Yeah? Oh, yes. So he asked the master's wife, is there any way he can get initiation? Yes. And without master doing, because master also have some representatives, you know? Yes. Oh, yes. Somewhere, yeah. So the wife sent him there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. to one of his representatives, just like... I have some residents. Yes. Right. And if there's an initiation, then uh, they would tell me, and then uh, I give. They give me a list of names, and then we give them. I say, okay, we can do that initiation on such a day, such a date. It's always been like that. Yes. They report to me first who wants to be initiated, and nowadays it's easier. Right. In the old times, maybe that uh, representative uh, disciple of Milarupa Master has to go on horseback or walk to the master to report or send somebody to report the initiation beforehand. Yes, oh, yes. And then make a date, just like what we do now. Every time there's an initiation, they send me a list. Yes. Right. They ask for permission and whom I accept and whom I don't accept. Yes. Yes, master. There are certain conditions and uh, regulations according to heavens and the universe. You have to know those things as well before you can give initiation. First, you have to ask master's permission because that's a connection. Yes. Also, the rule with the master in this physical world is that people don't ask, you cannot give. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I just uh, give to everybody. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes then yes. I have a lot, a lot of disciples. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, they have to ask, okay? Yes, master. Not master. because the master is difficult, but the rule is like that. Ah, okay. Formerly, there are some people who had to get initiation in the uh, refugee camp. Yes. Uh -huh. And I relaxed the rules a little bit, but I still know, because I know in advance already. I understand. But that, I have to really pay the attention to that special place only. Ah. Uh. That's different. Have you ever dreamed a dream? Far away from it all. Where the wind to breathe will never blow And living things have rooms to grow Vegan, awaken the hero in you. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples I'm sure he has some bad retribution himself, the master, you know? Yes. Oh. Every time he gives Milarepa a hard time, he took some karma from him. Oh, yes. Every time he beat him up, he probably has some physical problem. Oh. Yeah, sure. The karma has to go somewhere, no? Yes. 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 And unfortunately, it goes to the master. Yeah, yeah, of course, where else? <laughs> yes. Vibrant viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Initiation Requires Master Power, Part 1 of 14 on Between Master and Disciples. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May all sentient beings live happy and peaceful lives. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.